Hey guys, good evening. Good evening. What's up guys, how are you doing? All good? Yes. You? Exercise? All good, all good. How was your exercise today? <laughs> fine, fine. <laughs> yes. That's great. Do you work out uh, from home or do you go to the gym? In my home. Oh, so you got, you got weights yes. and everything? Excuse me? You got weights and everything? Uh, I have, uh, yes, I have everything. Um, I don't know, how do you say? Dumbbell, kid oh, okay. bill. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, the, the dumbbells, okay. That's great, that's great, okay. I have, uh, I have a I have a bench and a, and barbells, so I'm uh -huh. also working out every day. But yeah, I'm I'm, I'm restarting, you know. <laughs> so, it's great, it's great. Right? What about you, Ricardo? How's everything? Hello, all right. All right. Yeah. How was work today? And exhausted. I was traveling in the car all the day. Oh, really? Okay. That's great. All right. Well, well, not, not great, right? Because it was exhausting. <laughs> all yeah. right. All right. What about you, David? How's everything? How's everything today? Um, all it's okay. Everything is okay. Uh -huh. Everything okay. Hey, you got the news, right? Uh, we're not going to have class tomorrow. Yeah. All right. But we're going to have a class next Monday. All right. So, next Monday. The last the last class. Yeah, the last class will be next Monday. So so we're going to come here uh so we're going to come here this week. Uh so we're going to come this Thursday and then we're going to come next Friday. All right? So that's how things are going to work out. Um so yeah. Ingrid, welcome. Nice to see you. Hello, how are you? I'm good. How was your day? My today it was so hard because today I went to Ilovasco, Cujutepeque, and San Rafael Cedros. Really? I feel so proud. <laughs> yes. Uh, wait, what, what, what were you doing? Well, I mean, I know what you do, but what were you? specifically doing there i i work with other services um, in the agri that is my my in the in the place i work uh, we we distribuimos i don't know what Distribute. Okay. Distribute a uh, agrochemical, and we I visit agro services and I I sell to them uh, agrochemical. All right, all right, very good, very good, all right, very good, guys. So, um, so well, um, nice to see you. All right, I'm glad that you're okay and uh, you have a job. <laughs> Although you have a lot of work to do, huh? Uh, Rodrigo, welcome. Mainly nice to see you. Okay, so let's get started, guys. Um, uh, we're going to continue, guys, with uh, real conditionals. Okay, so let's recap, guys, real quick. What do we use second conditionals for, guys? Actions in the future. Okay, we use it to talk about actions in the future. Are you sure? What do we use on real conditionals for, guys? Unreal condition. For unreal ah, situations, it, right? Second imaginary. imaginary situations, okay? Imaginary situations in the past or in the future? In the future. In the future. The time. Imaginary situations in the future, okay? All right? That's where we use them, guys, okay? For imaginary situations in the future, okay? All right, great. 
So um, let's learn how to how to ask questions, okay? But um, let's talk about let's talk about uh, you know um, imaginary situations, okay? So guys, you can use what if, okay? Let's talk about what if, okay? What if you know? What if you were an animal? What if uh, you hadn't bought that? What if you know? There were no fish in the water. Okay, what if? What if is something that is not going to happen for sure. Okay, all right. So the structure. All right. Let's. Uh, well, let's see what we use this for, guys. Okay. Um, let's see. David, help me read, David. How to use what if? What if is usually used in the beginning of a question. When we ask about the consequence of an action, consequences. consequences of an action, we use what if here uh, to indicate present or future situations. Very good, guys. Okay, present or future situations, right? So in this case, guys, what if? All right, uh, help me read that, Rodrigo. Oh, you're muted, Rodrigo. Sorry. You're muted. What if there is no fish in the river? You won't be able to fish then. Repeat, you won't be able to fish then. You won't be able to fish it then. Okay. All right. Very good. Okay. So, um, all right, guys. So, what if there is no fish in the river, right? So, this is, you know, we're supposing that there might not be fish in the river. Okay. This, this guy's literally is like when we say, que tal si? It's the same thing, guys. Que tal si? Okay, what if, right? What if, what if I go home earlier and miss all the fun? See, so use what if guys plus a sentence in the present or you can use it in the past too if you're gonna talk about a conditional situation. Let's, so for example, right? What if you were rich, okay? So this is the example I want you to focus on today, guys, okay? This is this is the situation. This is where I want you to focus. You're gonna use what if guys plus simple past, okay? What if you were rich? All right. So what if you were rich? Uh, Maria Avelin, what if you were rich? So you would answer guys with a past model, right? Or a second conditional. If I were rich, what 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 comes after this, guys? What if I were rich? I would like to buy. Very good. I, now, do me a favor. Do not say I would like, guys, okay? Because this, all right, you don't get used to saying just like, okay? This is like the only verb that you you, you, you repeat um, too much, okay? Say another verb. I would buy. I would what? Maybe instead of like, to give me another verb. Uh -huh. What, what was your example, Mayli? Uh, I would. Yeah, you said I would like what? Um, fly in the air. Okay, okay. I, I would fly, okay? If I were rich, I would fly, okay? You can say that, okay? If I were rich, I would fly everywhere, right? Of course, right? By, by, by plane, right? Good job, Mayli. Okay. See? So you can answer, guys, with a second conditional, okay? But this is how you make the question. What if, right? What if, hey, what if we, you know, uh, let's let's ask another question, okay? All right. Um, let's see. Uh, Ricardo, okay? What if, uh, ask me a question with what if. Ask everyone a question with what if. Remember, what if plus simple past? What if if you born in a different country like in Europe? Very good. Okay, I like that idea. However, however, right? All right. <laughs> hey guys, 
let me ask you something, okay? All right, let, um, um, before I forget this idea, I'm gonna, I'm gonna write it down, okay? I'll, I'll, I'll leave these for later, okay? Because I want to ask it. <laughs> All right. All right, very good, guys. So anyways, okay? Uh, so, 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 um, Ricardo said, what if you, now, guys, what is the, the what is the, the, the infinitive of born? What is the infinitive of the born, guys? De nacer. What is it? Too far. Born. No, guys, to be born, okay? This is the infinitive, guys, okay? This is the verb. So, guys, no me digan, what if you born? Eso no existe, okay? What if you were born, right? Uh, yeah. So, this is present. What is the past, guys? What do, you, what do you think the past is? Born. No, guys, I just told you. To right? where? Where? Past or... Where born, okay? All right, so this is the past, okay? The word born, guys, doesn't change, okay? Eso no cambia, all right? All right. What is the, the, the past participle? What do you think the past participle is of, of, uh, of nacer? Have or has been born, okay? Or, or simply, guys, okay, um, been born, okay? Like this, been born, okay? Got it? So the only thing that changes, guys, when you talk about born is the verb be. Nothing else. You do not change the verb. You do not change the, the noun born, okay? So, Ricardo, give me your example again. Let's see. So, what if... You're muted. You're muted. What if you uh, has been born no, no, in no, a year past? Time? Simple past. If you were born yes. in a different country, for example, Kiro. Very good. Okay, right. Uh, and then you see said. What if you were born in a different country, right? Let, let's do it like this, okay? What if you were born, let's say, in Europe, okay? So you say Europe, okay? So here, guys, okay, uh, how would I answer this question? Remember, you can answer this with second conditionals, right? David, uh, I'm sorry, no, no. Yeah, David, let's go. What if you were born in Europe? Uh... Uh, I can be able to travel. You cannot say can be able, guys. I am able. Our I, right? So, um, I could travel. I could travel, okay? This is talking about the future, guys. Good, it's not talking about the past here, okay? So, I could travel, all right? All right, very good. Uh, but give me a full a full sentence, okay? Give me a full answer with with second conditional. Who wants to give me an example, guys, with second conditional? That's the full second conditional example. Maybe if I were yes, uh, born I were, in Europe. Very good. If I were born born in Europe. In Europe. I would like. I would. Don't say like. Sorry. I will uh, live in Paris. I would live in Paris. Good job. Good job, Maria Belen. Good job. Okay. If I were born in Europe, I would live in Paris. See? All right. Do you get the idea, guys? So to ask a question, guys, simply ask what if. What if? Simple past, right? Hey, David, can I also. Um, then David, I'm referring to myself, okay? If I say, hey, uh, can I also use other tenses? Can I ask this? What if you, can I ask this in the present, guys? Can I use the past? Can I use past perfect to ask what if? Yes, I can. The answer is yes, okay? But we're not gonna see that 
today, okay? We're gonna focus on, uh, we're gonna focus on the structure in simple past. But again, guys, if I say, guys, what if you were born in Europe, all right? That is not talking about the past, it's talking about the future, okay? Remember, guys, second conditionals do not talk about the past. They talk about the present or the future, got it? On real situations in the present or in the future, yes? Yes, yes, yes. All right, very good, guys, very good. So, um, oh my God, my camera went off again. All right, so questions so far, guys. Questions, questions, questions. Right, we're good. Great. All right, then. So, um, there you go. All right, so let's move on, guys. Okay. So, uh, before we get started with I wish, guys, do me a favor. I want everyone, guys, to send me an example of what if. So, ask me a question with what if, guys. And uh, let's play, guys, what if the teacher, okay? All right, this is what we're going to play, okay? What? What if the teacher, okay? And you can ask, you can add more information, okay? What if the teacher, all right? And simple past, okay? And you're gonna answer your own question in the chat, all right? So what I just explained, guys, is todo el mundo me va a enviar una pregunta con what if, guys, ahorita, en el chat, y todo el mundo me va a enviar una respuesta, preguntándome what if the teacher, okay? So for example, uh, I don't know, what if the teacher went to the moon? Hey, ¿qué pasaría si el teacher fuera a la, a la luna, right? I'm always in the moon, guys. <laughs> no, uh, okay, so on the, that would be on the moon, by the way. Anyways, okay, right, did you get the example, guys? You get the idea? Todos entendieron lo que vamos a hacer? Yes. All right, great, guys, right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. And my camera got stuck, apparently, again. All right. All right. Let's see what we got, guys. In, in the chat room, guys. Aquí, aquí en este chat, guys, en el de Zoom, no, no en WhatsApp, okay? Zoom, guys. All right, very good. Now, you were supposed to ask, what if the teacher, right? <laughs> what if the teacher bought a new camera? <laughs> Well, you know, it's not the camera because I have another computer that the one I use uh, at my other workplace and the camera works. It's actually my computer, man. It's got some sort of, uh, I know what it is because I'm, I'm kind of like very savvy with tech savvy with computers, but it's got some sort of, um, you know, some sort of electrical static, you know, uh, electricity issue or some, some, you know, something of the sort. So. It's not the camera, unfortunately. I wish it was the camera. I wish it were the camera. Hey, we're gonna learn about I wish, okay? All right, uh, David, uh, what if El Salvador were a big country, okay? Very good. I, I, like, I like that you're using where, okay? Right, because it is an unreal situation. That That is very good. Guys, by the way, guys, Americans, and basically a lot of people, guys, make this one mistake of saying was instead of where. So don't worry. I, I use it like that, guys. You know, I, I make that mistake too um, because, you know, all Americans do, guys, okay? Um, but the, the, the grammatically correct way of saying that is, you know, just, just using where, okay? Anyways, uh, Maria Quintanilla, what if the teacher met Dua Lipa? I would, I don't know what I would do. I would, I would, I mean, I wish I could marry her. Uh, <laughs> what if the teacher we're a superhero, okay? Hey, but you gotta send me the answer too, guys, okay? You gotta send me the answer too. También me la respuesta, right? Uh, Maylin, 
why did the teacher wear a, a president? You know what? The only time I've been president or something was in high school. And I didn't like it. <laughs> Not a good prison. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. Why did the teacher wear Ah, you say. Why did the teacher wear next teacher in next level? That, that doesn't make sense. I, I know what you're trying to say, but that is uh, not correctly uh, written, spelled, okay? What is the teacher wear in the next level? I think that's what you wanted to say, right? Or like, what if the teacher was part of our next English level, perhaps, something like that? Okay, so you could say, you could say something like that. All right, send me the answers, guys. Send me the answers too. Oh, Jesus. All right, shoot. All right. Um, uh, Rodrigo, what if the teacher sold his PC? All right, yeah. Yeah, that, that, yeah. What if the teacher... Now, there, is, there shouldn't be any coma here, Hilda, but that, that's what if the teacher taught every day? All right, very good. Ingrid, if the teacher were a superhero, he would... Hey, guys, you need to send me the answer. Me le falta la respuesta, guys. A todo mundo le falta la respuesta. Solo Ingrid me ha enviado una respuesta, okay? If the teacher were a superhero, he would... He would has... No. Now, remember, guys. Hay una cosita aquí. Let's analyze this example, okay? I want everybody to analyze this example. Well, send your examples, okay? Todo mundo, no se olviden sus ejemplos, guys. All right? So here, guys, it says, if the teacher were a superhero, he would ask, what's wrong here? ¿Qué, qué está malo de esto, guys? If not has, is have. Exactly. Why do we use Ingrid? Why do you think that we use have here and not has? Because has is a uh, is in the past and the answer. No, is... no, 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 no. No, that's not the reason. Okay, this is a model verb. Okay, models modify verbs. Okay, and the verb has to be in base form all the time. You cannot modify a model that it, that is not in base form. Okay, no puedes modificar un model verb que no está en forma base. Got it? So, have. It, it doesn't matter if it is third person or not, okay? So, if the teacher were a superhero, he would have a superpower to teach in other languages. Just thinking about it, I guess you wanted to say. How about it? Okay, now this is fixed now, okay? Good job, all right? Good try, all right? I like that you were trying to give me a complex example. Example. All right? Great. All right. Uh, teacher would shop new one. Uh, the teacher, right, if, uh, you have to, to use if, guys, I want you to use if, right, uh, the teacher would buy a new one. If the teacher made Dua Lipa, he wish, Mary, no. Let's correct this one, okay, let's, let's talk about this one. Hey, le falta todo lo demás, guys, necesito esa respuesta para todos, okay. Let's analyze this, guys, so how can we correct this one? What, what's wrong with that one? What do you think? Uh, merit I put in the past and then a present? No. No? What do you think? Okay, so how, how can we correct this? Remember the structure, guys. The structure. What happens with the structure? You're not following the structure here. Okay, tiene que guardarse la estructura. So, in your example, in your example, uh, Maria, what, 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 what is the structure? What should I follow as a structure here? Uh, wish, because I saw the. Um, the presentation, but I, I, I think the. No, it's not. Not that you have to use wish here. Uh, 
No. Uh -huh. Es he uh, would marry with her. He would, right? He would marry her. Marry, mm -hmm. marry her, okay? All right, he would marry her. Okay, very good. All right, so let's fix this, right? Great. So that would be if the teacher, right? So let's change this, okay? So if, great. If the teacher met Dua Lipa, comma, he would marry her. Okay, so this is how you say it, guys, okay? So if the teacher met Dua Lipa, he would marry her. Got it? All right, so you follow the structure, right? Mainly says he would, he would live in a big house, yes. What if the teacher learned French? He would speak easily with Benzema. <laughs> Funny thing, guys, I don't watch... I don't watch football. <laughs> I'm not into watching sports, you know. Anyways, guys, good job, guys. And applause for everybody. Well done, right? Well done. Okay, guys. Now, before we get to the, to, you know, to practice, um, let, let's talk about I wish, okay? I wish, guys, all right, is just to, it's just like this, okay? Do you know what a shooting star is, guys? Saben que es una shooting star? What a shooting star is shooting, yes. Uh, start uh, moving. <laughs> I don't know in Spanish, <laughs> it's a yes. song. No, I, I guess. I mean, it's also song, right? A shooting star is, guys, a star that it, it's actually you know what we call a, a comment, okay? All right, it's actually a comment, all right? Uh, but we call it shooting stars or in Spanish, estrella uh, fugaces, right? Yes. So what happens, guys, when you see a shooting star? What do you usually do? What is, you know, the... the we ask, uh, we ask uh, uh, a wish. Okay, wishes. to ask for wishes, right? Uh -huh. Very good. So, so according to folklore, you have to ask for wishes, okay? So it goes like this, guys. I wish I... Right? So now, the structure is like this, guys. You're going to use I wish and then... Simple past, simple, simple guys, all right? I wish simple past, okay? That's how you're gonna do it, all right? So for example, okay, now that you know it's I wish plus simple past, guys, okay? Let's try it. Uh, Jose Chicas, okay? Give me a sentence in simple past. By the way, guys, you can use more than simple past. Aquí están todos los ejemplos, guys, right? Pueden usar más que simple past, however, we're, uh, we're only gonna focus on simple past today, okay? Solo vamos a enfocar en simple past today, got it? We're not gonna go over, I'm not gonna go over guys, all the other tenses, just simple past, okay? Now, all right, uh, who, Jose, are you ready? I wish. Yes. Yes, okay, give me a sentence, can you please give me a sentence in simple past? Um, I wish. I yeah, I wish I I had learned English. Okay, I had learned English. Okay, now guys, this is not simple past though. Okay, so not for so simple guys, but 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 it's correct. Okay, this is what is this guys? I had learned English. That's perfect, right? Is it? Pasado perfecto, okay? I wish I learned English, okay? See? I wish I learned English. I wish I had Dua Lipa with me. All right? You got it, guys? Now, let me ask you something, guys. Am I talking about the past? Do you think, do you think that I'm talking about the past here? What do you think? No. No, I am not talking about the past, guys. Okay. What do you think? Who am, what am I talking about here then? What test am I talking about? I wish I loved to do exercise. <laughs> All right. So, guys, guys, think about it. Okay. Am I talking about the present? Am I talking about the future? Am I talking about in a real situation? What am I talking about here? Guys, we're talking. Okay, we're talking about the present for a situation in the future. Got it? Estamos hablando del presente, guys. 
but imaginary, okay? So the fact that you're using simple past here doesn't mean that you're talking about the past, okay? Aquí estamos usando el pasado simple, guys, como parte de la estructura, pero no estamos hablando para nada del pasado, estamos hablando del presente. All right? Got it? It literally means, guys, desearía. Ese ia que tenemos en español. Desearía que tuviese. ¿Sí? Cadua Lipa conmigo. Got it? Hey, hey, I have another one for you. What if, what if Dua Lipa ever watched these videos? ¿Qué tal si Dua Lipa alguna vez, right? Piense estos videos, right? So that's what it says, okay? So I'm not talking again, I'm not talking about the past. I'm talking about a an imaginary situation in the present, see? All right? Or an imaginary situation in the future, I mean. It's the same thing, all right? Um, so I wish, right? I can also use I wish here. I wish, right? Dua Lipa watched these videos, okay? Desearía que, right? Dua Lipa viese o viera, how, how, you know, that's what we say, right? Estos videos, got it? If I say, guys, que viera o que viese estos videos, am I talking about the past? Estoy hablando del pasado o del, o del futuro? Future. Talking about the future. Okay. Got it? <laughs> David, you look confused. Do you have any question? No? No. No, are you good? Okay. Does it make sense, everybody? All right. So, very good, guys. So, let's talk about your wishes, guys. Okay. So, you're going to tell me your wishes. Okay. All right. So, let's 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 get started with the exercises, guys. Okay. Any? Are you sure, guys, you don't have any questions? question All right very good so what do you wish the most All right this is the question that i got for you okay so i'm gonna get you in couples guys and you're gonna tell your partner what you wish the most okay remember the examples okay write these down guys if you want actually if you don't remember guys i wish right hold on so type this in like this guys i wish all right i wish i all right, or just I wish plus simple past. Okay, so for example, uh, Ricardo, what do you wish? What do you wish the most? And guys, tell me the why. Okay, why? Why, right? Ricardo, what do you what what do you wish the most? I wish both a uh, car. I wish. Okay, you would say, I wish I bought a car. I wish I bought a car. It's right. necessary to repeat the, the subject. Ever. Yes, yes, yes. You need to, guys. You need. That's a good question. Yes, you need to repeat the subject. Yes. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense, okay? Got it? Now, be careful. It's not repeating the subject. Okay, because you can say, what if what if I'm not talking about my wishes, guys? What if I'm talking about Ricardo's wishes? Okay, All right. What if Ricardo were, were you know what if Ricardo were talking about my wishes? Okay, so he would say, David wishes, right? Or David wishes, right? See, you're gonna change it to the third person, right? David wishes, uh, Ricardo. bought a car see got it i have a question no uh, um, in the answer is i wish i bought a car uh it's probably i wish bought a car no 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 i just explained that no, guys, you need to address who, whose wish you're talking about. Ricardo asked me if I need to repeat the subject. It's not that you're repeating the subject. No que está repitiendo el sujeto, guys. All right? Whatever you're going to talk, whoever you're going to talk about, quien sea de, de quien vas a hablar vos, tenés que ponerlo aquí, all right? 
for example, here I say, you know, he, he say, desearía, desearía que eh, comprase un carro, que yo comprase un carro, right? And here, you're saying, desearía que él comprase un carro. Got it? Does, does that make yes. sense? All right. Ricardo, did that answer your question? Yes. Thank All right. Very good. Very good. Okay. But yes, guys. Okay. You cannot say this. I wish bought a car. This is impossible. Okay. Eso no tiene sentido. All right. You need to use a subject here, guys. It's super important. Okay. All right. I wish you bought a car. I wish I had money. Right. I wish. Right. I had a million bitcoins. Right. Right. All right. I wish. I wish la señora de la tienda gave me. Uh, Of, uh, pupusas. <laughs> All right. I wish last year in the end I gave me, right? Um, 0 0.0003 bitcoins of pupusas. All right. Got it? So, see you guys. Okay. So, on real situations, right? All right. Does it make sense now? Very good. So, what do you wish the most? Okay. ¿Cuál es, qué, qué deseas, qué es la cosa que deseas más en la vida? All right. That's what you're going to answer today, guys. Okay, any questions? No questions? Everything good? Yes? All right. In that case, guys, let's go. David, the exercise is to um, question and answer. Or what is the yes, you're gonna, exercise? Yes, I asked if you understood. Todo el mundo me dijo que se había entendido. All right. What, what is it? You tell me. Uh, the exercise is to question and to answer no 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 that's no no you're gonna ask you're you're just gonna talk okay what do ah. you wish the most okay okay look at says what do you wish the most all right you have to ask a question and you have to answer that question okay ah, thank you. And just just talk okay yes Jose Yes. No. For example, tell me. Tell, tell me, Mary, for example, what? I wish I spoke in English and French and Mandarin. I wish I spoke. <laughs> I wish I spoke. Yes, I wish I spoke. Right. English, French, and Mandarin. Yes. Yes, okay. Esto todo el ejercicio, guys. Solo hablar, ok. Vos le vas a preguntar a la otra persona, hey, ¿qué es lo que más deseas? La otra persona te va a decir, desearía que bla, bla, bla. Got it? All right, follow Thanks, the search, right? Follow the search, right? No problem. Thanks, David. Yes. Uh, where? Where? Easy. Now, guys, do you, do you, did you understand what you're supposed to do? A todos les pregunto que si entendí todo, me dicen que sí, guys. Look, no. do you understand what you're going to do? No? Uh, great sentence using English. No, no, guys. Guys, dije, all right? Maybe I'm going to say it in Spanish, okay? Van a preguntar a la otra persona, what do you wish the most? Hasta lo puse en la presentación uh -huh. ahí, la gran pregunta. All right? ¿Qué es lo que más desea? Nadie te lo sortea en español, guys, también. Right? 
y la otra sí. persona te va a responder, right? Lo que más deseo es esto, esto y esto, por esto y eso y eso. Got it? That's it. All right? Okay, okay, thank you. All right, so how do you ask, how do you have that, how do you ask that, that question? You should have it written down in your notebook. So let me hear you. Okay, what do you wish the most? Uh, they did. What do you wish the most, right? Uh, I wish uh, I wish I had Mm. I wish I had. No, no, I has. I had. I had. Yes. I had. I, I had a, a new car because the the actually car is a little old and small. The current car. Uh -huh. Current car is a little old and small, and I need a a new car a little more. A little bigger. bigger, a little mm -hmm. bigger, not more bigger, just bigger. Ah, yes, yes, bigger. Right. a little bigger. All right, so there you go. Okay, that, that's the exercise, guys. Okay, that's what you're supposed to be doing right now. Okay, okay. all right, very good. I'm gonna check on everybody else because nobody, everybody, does the same thing. <laughs> all right. guys. Did, 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 did we understand the exercise? And the, the, I, I do not. Yeah, I am hearing the best wishes of Ingrid. Yes. So, so what do you wish the most, Ingrid? My biggest wish is... I wish, remember, I want you I to wish, write, I wish I, right, whatever. My son be happy. Um, I wish my son what? My son what? Me. I wish my son was was happy. Or you can say if in this in real situation, right? Um, I wish my son were happy, right? Because it's a real situation. Yes. So I wish my son were happy. Okay. okay. I wish my son were. Yes, yes, because it's unreal. It's it's an unreal situation. Now, let me ask you this, okay? So, so you say, I wish my son were happy because blah blah blah. So, so you have to tell us the reason why you wish your son to be happy. Okay, I have to use where and yes. not was. Yeah, yes, yes, but that's not the point here. Okay, the point is you have, you have to give me more information. Quiero que me dé más información, right? Desearía que esto y esto y esto, por esto y esto y esto, yes? Okay. I wish my son will be well happy because he's the most important person for me in all world. In all the world, okay. So he's not happy. Yeah, I, I, I wish he always. Yeah. So he, he, okay. <laughs> now that now that would be different, right? Because you would need to say, "I wish he was okay," or "I wish he were always happy." I wish he were always happy, okay? Because right? oh. if you say, "I wish he were happy," that means that he's not happy right now, okay? That he's never happy, right? Okay. So you have to add the adverb "always," mm -hmm. and that turns it into something that is occasionally done. Okay. Okay. So, but, but good I job. Think, okay, that's that's a good ex example. I think that the word exactly is not happy. Is yes. maybe it's other, other yes. word. Is another. Another. Another, another yes. word. Good job, guys. Good job. You're doing great. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I am a sales. How are you, How are you doing? Uh, did you understand the um, the exercise that we're we're gonna do. I'm so sorry for interrupting. Did you understand what yeah. we're gonna do? Yes, yes. All right, so what is your biggest wish, Maria? Uh, for me, my uh, the biggest. I wish I, I. I wish I bought a big car, a big house. I wish I bought, not, not boat. Boat is a boat, right? Parquito, right? 
I wish I but, but, but. But. Yes, I wish I be exact like that. But. But. I wish I but, but. Okay, I wish I but. A big house. A big house. Okay. Now give me details. Okay. So you have to learn how to be, you know, uh, fluent, right? So that that made details. Okay. Why, right? Oh, I wish I bought a big house because I want to have a big party. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> no, because uh, we are a big family, and we have uh, two dogs, and I like <laughs> a big house. Yes. Okay. Right. Hey, that's good. That's good. That's good. Okay, Hilda. What about you? Okay. So yeah, you understand. Okay. Okay, teacher. Uh, my wish is a uh, a travel it. Uh, Turkey. Okay, I wish, repeat, I wish. I wish. Okay, now follow the structure, right? Okay, follow I wish, I wish, I travel. I travel in the prison? No, I traveled. What I is traveled, it? What? All right. I traveled. I wish I traveled. I wish I traveled. 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 Okay, all right, hold on. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay, right? This, oh my gosh. This is okay. the pronunciation is very difficult for me, teacher. I need a course only the pronunciation. <laughs> yeah, I am very good at linguistics, by the way. But I, I don't I don't deliver somebody asked me if I deliver classes, you know, like a lot of people ask me if I can teach them, you know, but I don't have time. <laughs> so <laughs> Oh, anyway, so this is how you pronounce it, you know? So, all right, I traveled, okay? When you say traveled, okay? This sound right traveled. here, traveled, put your tongue here. Esta es tu lengua, aquí la tienes que poner en la boca, en el viola, okay? Okay. Right? We have, we have, guys, in English, we have seven places of articulation. They're called places of articulation, record guys, okay? So, cuando vos pronuncias, tenés siete herramientas dentro de la web que utilizas para pronunciar en inglés, okay? Por ejemplo, this is uh, label, right? Los labios, right? ¿Qué sonido tenés con los labios? Label. What sounds do you have? Ba, 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 pa, pa, pa. Pa, 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 ajá. Ajá, pa, pa, pa. That exists, right? You have dental, right? Dental. ¿Qué sonido tenés dentales? Uh, the apple, the, 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 see? The. Uh, the, the. In Spanish, uh -huh. guys, vos usas la, la TH en inglés como que T. Por eso me decís David, así con, 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 con uh -huh. But in English, that is not the case, okay? You have to use the alveolar, eso se llama el alveolar, okay? Okay. The alveolar reach. Entonces, para decir la T, vos podés decir da, 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 David, right? Uh, they, da, 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 David, okay? And you, you also say uh, traveled, traveled, see? The ta, traveled. The ta, da, 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 they have the same place of articulation. Then you have, you know, the palate. Uh, then you have, you have the, the, the velar area. And you have over here, you know, the glottal area, okay? All right. So, this is on lugares de articulación que tenés para pronunciar en inglés, ¿ok? Ok. Travel, okay. repeat, traveled. Tra traveled. 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 Well. Da, da, da. You have to say <laughs> the da at the end. Traveled. Traveled. Hey, there you go, okay. right? That was better. Thank, Thank you. you. Sorry, teacher. No, that's okay, right? You don't be sorry. You're learning. <laughs> right, that's good. Okay. For the products we make, we can make it. Well, what can you make? What are you talking about? Uh, uh, he asked me about my job, and uh, I can print in the box that they use for their products. Okay. All right. <laughs> gotcha. 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 All right. So we're gonna go back now, guys. Okay. 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 
All right, hey guys, uh, welcome back. Um, um, so how do you feel this topic, guys? So I wish. Guys, if I say I wish I traveled, all right, when am I, when am I expecting to travel? Did I already travel? Or am I expecting to travel in the future? Expected to travel in the future. All right, very good, guys. Okay. Don't get confused with this, guys. Esto está en el pasado, el verbo, all right? But you're not talking about the past. You're talking about the future, okay? All right? It's just, guys, in English, we don't have something. I, well, I don't know if, if you call it like this in, in English or not, but... Um, but in Spanish, we have subjuntivos, you know, in French, in Portuguese, you have subjunctives, okay? Um, but in English, guys, we do not have, you know, the subjunctivo is like when we say the word, when we add ia a las palabras, guys, ia, right? Desearía, iría, right? Tenés el pasado que es yo fui, right? Pero el subjuntivo, yo iría, right? But that doesn't exist in English. In English, that ia is, is used as simple past too. Usar el pasado para los dos, got it? And that's the reason why, guys, okay? It doesn't mean that you're talking about the past. It's just, you know, in a real situation. If it is in a real situation, you do have to use the past, okay? Now, can you use other, can you use other, um, can you use other tenses? Of course you can use other tenses, all right? You can use other tenses. However, guys, if you use other tenses, uh, you will have to change the structure, right? Because if I wanted to say something that I wished in the past, how do you think that I would do that? I wish I had gotten a house, see? Desearía haber obtenido una casa. See, now I'm talking about the past, right? So yes, you can use it in other tenses, but we're not gonna talk about that, okay? That is a little bit more advanced, okay? But just FYI. So today, guys, today, you should have learned, you know, the structure, well, the usage of uh, what if, and the usage of I wish, okay? Those are the two things that you uh, should have learned today, guys. So, I'm going to ask you something, okay? About those two topics, guys. Do you feel like this or do you feel like, I don't know, copy? <laughs> so, how do you feel, guys? Tequila. Clear as tequila or coffee? <laughs> Tequila, right? This is good, okay? All right? Very good. So if you're clear as tequila, that's great, okay? Si les quedo claro como transparente como tequila, that's great. All right? Who feels like coffee, guys? ¿Quién le quedó como café? Who feels like like coffee? ¿Quién, quién se siente que entendió como el café, right? Que le quedó nada. Todo, todo oscuro, no se puede ver. Claro como el café. No? All right, very good. All right. So, uh, guys, um, do not miss classes, guys. Hey, <laughs> please. Right? We're, we're just a few days, uh, you know, a few days away from finishing the, the whole course, guys. Tomorrow, we're not going to have a class, okay? Don't be asking me, hey, David, why are you not connected? No, we don't have a class tomorrow. I know I mentioned, guys, that we did, but we don't, okay? Um, and also, I sent a message, guys, to the WhatsApp group so you can reconfirm that if you forget for some reason, okay? Now, we're going to have a class on Thursday, and we're going to have a class on Monday, okay? So, on Monday, we do have a class, okay? Um, I'll, I'll be helping you guys with the final exam and everything, guys, on Thursday, okay? All right, uh, during the class, if you're missing anything, guys, but please, guys, do me a favor. Finish the whole platform already, okay? It's time for you to finish the platform. And uh, even if you finish the platform, guys, please connect so you can, I mean, you can practice and learn, guys, and you know, it's free. So, you know, knowledge is not free, guys, usually, right? So, you know, just take advantage of that. Any questions, comments, guys, complaints, anything that you need from me? Anything, anything? I have a problem with the platform and send the messages that the oh, WhatsApp yeah, yeah, yeah. group. Yes, guys, uh, Rafael asked me the same thing yesterday. The answer there, guys, do not use here, okay? No le ponga here al final. Yo sé, eso es cosa de la plataforma, right? No le pongan here al final, okay? And try to, to do it without a contraction, right? Without contractions. All 
Thank and use and use a period at the end, okay? I'm sorry, Maylin, I I totally forgot about answering your message, okay? But yes, guys, I uh, there, that that question, what she's asking me, okay? Once you have the right answer, please post it on on the on the group, Maylin, if you're so kind, because so so everybody else can see it, okay? Yes, are we good, thank guys? You. All right, great. So thank you very much, guys. I'll see you on Thursday. See you. Right. Take care, guys. Good night. Good night. Guys. Good night.